This is the factory motor that came with the car. It's a six cylinder. I believe it's 199 cubic inches. From my understanding, this is the part number of the exhaust manifold, 3788486. And the engine number, the stamp number on the motor, 348675, it's a GM number. That's their stamp number on there. And it's got the date in there someplace. I know when they did the research, this is a matching numbers car and motor and drivetrain. The, the, the motor ran, according to the person who I got it from, who I trust and value his his expertise and knowledge is the car ran about four years ago before right not too much before I bought it is the car was running fine they had another car that was similar to this but a wagon it was a 1963 and they needed a few little parts when this car was not running so great they started taking a few little things and as you can see they took the power steering cap. They took the cover for the carb. Um, and it looks like they took uh, the coil. And now you know it's missing, a, it's missing some of the spark plugs. But anyways, it, it, oh, let me point this out to you. So the radiator, it looks like they want the radiator out of this. All right. So on the radiator, I got the brackets over there on the ground there. Uh, it's still hooked up, which is, you know, a little little weird. Like, why wouldn't they just take the whole thing out? But it could be that they wanted the bracket off of it, the top that mounts it on. Uh, the motor does turn freely with my hand. I could, I could turn the motor over. The battery holder that it fits into has a little bit of rust on this side and a little bit more on that side. It will hold the battery because there was a battery in there. Okay, the transmission does shift. Now this is all according to Craig and, and I, like I said, I value his opinion, I value his knowledge and I trust him. And, he, and when he tells me he heard the car running, I, I must believe he really did hear it running. And he told me straight up, this is what it needs, just like I'm telling you. Uh, you do a few of these things that I believe are not too much of a fix and you'll be able to get the car running how it sits This is the badge number Which I think is important that that you should know What we're dealing with here. This will have the information That you need to look to look up the numbers of the car Where it was made at when it was made how many were made what features it had so this is what this is what they 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 put on the firewall back in the day. As you can see, the two hoses for the heater because the heater core is still in. They're they're not they're not connected. They're they're dead ended right there at the firewall. So I hope this information helps you. I hope that that uh, that you decide that you want the car. And uh, and I and when you get it, I really hope that you take this and, and make it a masterpiece because this is it. This was the first. This is one of the first hot rods ever made by GM. It's nice.